All right, guys, do you see what's on the screen? Like over there and over there. Like that's how sometimes in Uganda, that's how we gesture when say over there. <laughs> but guys, do you see what's on the screen right now? Do you know why I'm excited? It's because finally we can use live link on the Android phone, on our Android phone. So to all my fellow Android users out there, you're going to be able to use your Android phone to run live link and that means that you can use live link to drive in real time the facial animation of your meta human and then that means you also be able to record it and apply it to the body of any other meta human so right here you can see over here <laughs> is a an android phone and over there on the left hand side is an iphone that's what you're used to seeing over there you know <laughs> so here let me walk you through real quick we're going to install this so the way you find this on the play store you simply just have to go and search and type in up at the top uh, live link just simply type in live link and if you type the fourth it might actually hint it if you already search for it but live link up there and you already see that we have the reality scan uh, for Android and we also have Unreal VCAM. So you can use VCAM on the Android, what used to be on the iPhone, right? So we're gonna select Live Link Face because that's what we need. Click on that and just go ahead and install this. Just press install right there and wait for it to finish. Then we're gonna switch out. So right now the MetaHuman is running using a webcam and we're gonna see what the quality looks like compared to the Android phone because it's always seemed like it, the iPhone was king of facial mockup because of its depth sensing camera and Android phones were left out, you know, making us feel you know, lesser than. <laughs> but all right, so we have Live Link open here and something that you need to keep in mind is make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi connection as your computer. That is very important. Please, whatever you do, make sure your Wi-Fi that is on your iPhone right here on your, not iPhone, on your Android phone is the same as the computer. So I have a router and the router is spitting out a Wi-Fi connection that I use on my, some of my laptop and also on my Android phone and the I, iPhone. So they're using the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. And by the way, so Live Link, let's go ahead and update Live Link as well here. Press update. Boop. Yeah, right there. So I'm updating that because in Live Link, we're gonna be able to use Live Link as a webcam, essentially. That's what the new update is gonna do for you. So over here, if you go through and swipe through, you can see some of the new updates and you can go and just read more. So live link face for effortless facial mockup. And also here, we're just gonna go ahead and open on uh, the Android phone. So make sure you accept, it's a live link face end user license. Just scroll all the way down, read through. If you're a lawyer, you can help us understand some of these things, what the implications are. And so one thing that I learned is that uh, They've been they used AI data sets of the uh, the iPhone. They used that uh, they say they paid talents and they were able to train a lot of faces so that that's why we're able to get facial mockup like this so effortlessly without a depth sensing camera because they're using artificial intelligence in the back end. That's what Meta Human Animator is doing. So now we're using Live Link though, right? So this is Live Link. Go ahead and accept and allow live face to take pictures okay while using this app so after installing or updating the android app with the live link face uh, one of the things that you need to pay attention to again just like i mentioned is make sure that you're on the same wi-fi connection and let me bring up the android phone over here Android phone over here so you can see me. You can see how the face is being tracked. Now, the quality is not going to be the same because I am streaming and recording at the same time. So I have like almost three streams of uh, data. So I have three streams of data going in, the iPhone, the Android, and then I'm, of course, using the webcam over here. So on your end, you're going to see better quality as a result. But for now, let's uh, keep rolling. 
and on the screen here on my android phone i'm gonna tap on the settings app so up on the device name give it a name so it's easier for you to recognize once you get to the unreal engine uh click okay mine i just call it solo and you can never actually to be even more specific just say android maybe so solo android and click okay so for sure you know that's the stream that's coming from the uh, the android phone not the live link face app on the iphone okay we're gonna close that you can leave everything as the default all right so you can see the tracking of the face uh it, it seems there's like a slight delay but we're gonna find out we're gonna find out and see how good the quality is and it says 18 frames per second over here so i'm expecting a little bit of uh, a delay over there so first things first we're gonna disconnect the metahuman video right right here this we're gonna disconnect the metahuman video that is using the webcam over here so we're gonna go to live link to disconnect and we're gonna delete the metahuman so you want me we won't see a face moving using the webcam the beautiful data coming from the webcam so just close delete that so now there's no movement you can still see me over on the phone streaming into the computer so i'm gonna go add a source go to live link face and right now it says disconnected but you see where it says solo android it means that uh, we are streaming so that's when you know you're on the same network all right so so we're gonna copy the address the same address that you see over here and you're gonna copy that address and put it in the address down below all right so let's put that in there and press enter and when you're ready uh you can also put this uh subject name because that's the one that you're gonna need uh, for identifying on the metahuman to connect to so we're going to say solo android okay and then when you're done just press connect all right and now do you see something here we have the same offset if you wanted it to be like to sync up you can do minus 0.5 so it's kind of similar to what we had before with our metahuman video and everything else is good so it's ready it's connected and it's time for us to test out with the metahuman so the android phone that you see here is live as you can see right here it's updated to about 19 between between 19 and 18 frames per second so that's the one that we're using so we're going to go select our metahuman and we're going to minimize live link over here so select the meta, the metahuman bp over here and then so under the details panel towards the bottom just go and under live link select drop drop down and select solo android which is what we have and guess what we are streaming from our android phone let me bring it up so over over this way <laughs> let me kick out of that so and also let me bring this one up so they are side by side all right guys so you can see me streaming from my android phone into the metahuman and i'm driving the metahuman right now and this my it is mounted so you can actually see it moving around like that but overall so if this were on a head mounted camera rig if you have your head mounted camera rig on your phone and you have maybe a motion capture suit even if you're using markerless motion capture data uh, like a system you're gonna be able to drive the metahuman using an android phone live this is live from an android phone right so let, i'm gonna actually be record let me see if i can shoot a video of that as well so you can actually see it in real life and i'll probably use let me see because this is streaming i can actually bring up the camera as well i'm really stressing my computer up right now <laughs> all right where's the camera up all right um not facetime all right camera all right uh let's see so you can actually see there it is that's the android phone right and you can see the meta human over there there's a slight delay but you got you get the you get the picture so i'm driving the meta human 
in the Unreal Engine using an Android phone. That's wild, you know. So thank you so much, Epic Games, for this amazing update. This is awesome. I mean, I've been waiting for this. Uh, Android users everywhere have been waiting for this, and it's an amazing, amazing day. Let me see if I can do landscape so you can actually see both of them. So, and here we can see. I wonder what to do. Okay, portrait mode. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> so, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you. It's a quick tutorial showing you how to be to connect your Android phone and download the app, the the new Live Link app for Android. And use it to drive a meta human in the Android engine. Isn't that amazing? So this is all, this is all possible in the Android in, in this is all possible in Android Engine 5.6. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a video like that one. Or maybe like the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I can see some issues with the eyes, maybe because of the tracking, but that's overall, I mean, this is really good. If you set it up and the phone is closer to you, so sorry about that. If you're looking in the other camera. So if I bring the phone closer to me, um, I'm able to get a little bit of a uh, better you know, tracking of the, of the eyes. But again, it's just being intentional of looking into the camera and not going crazy because that's when you're, the performance, I guess, comes in so you can actually be more intentional about it. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. This is an uh, iPhone that I'm using to shoot Android. The Android is driving the meta human using the new Live Link uh, Android app. So thank you so much. And as always, always, guys, dare to dream big. Do not give up on your dream. May we continue to use these tools to tell our stories, right? And if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. You know, I'm not going to do an olive impersonation right now, but <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you so much to all my patrons, guys. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Thank you for every person that has subscribed to this channel. What an amazing time to be alive. This is a, an amazing day because uh, Unreal Engine 5.6 is available. We have new meta humans that we can use and be able to use these new apps like that. So stay safe, much love to each and every one of you. I'm praying for you, dare to dream big. Bye for now, see you in the next video. And sorry, sorry to my, <laughs> I didn't even keep this steady. I'm sorry about that, All right? See you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.